how to get in better shape than 99% of the population in under three months. Really excited to share this with you. This is some life changing information. All you got to do is apply it, baby. And for those that don't know me, my name is Chase Jackson. I'm a peak performance coach. I use my background working with the world's best athletes to help high level entrepreneurs, executives, high performers, people like you who want to get in the best physical condition of your life. And we do that using a simple three step formula. Do me a favor if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, hit the link below. What we're going to do here is we're going to go really high level on all this stuff. We have content on all of it, but I promise you with just what I'm giving you today, you will have enough to get in better physical condition than 99% of the population and you can do it in under three months. Okay. So if you have a pen and paper, I would love for you to grab that because this is what we're going to do. I want you to make a grid with a row on top. Row on bottom. So there's six boxes. On top of that, in big, bold letters, I want you to write, dominate your fundamentals. Okay? Dominate your fundamentals. If you dominate these six fundamentals, then I promise you, in under three months, you're going to be in better physical and mental condition than 99% of the population. These fundamentals are your training slash your movement, your nutrition, your sleep, your mindset, your breath, and your focus, okay? And we call these the fundamentals because greatness is consistency on the fundamentals. And there's two different types of fundamentals. Like we have a specific set of fundamentals for our particular craft. Like if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a coach like me, we have a, a specific set of daily disciplines that we need to do to be successful. But as human beings, we all have a set of physiological fundamentals that if we get right, are going to rocket launch our body and our mind to perform at a really, really, really high level. And to use my background in sports, drop a couple analogies here. Phil Jackson had Michael Jordan practicing chess passes up until the day he retired. Andy Reid has Patrick Mahomes practicing simple three-step drops every single practice. These are examples of the world's best performers practicing the fundamentals day in and day out. So you want to get your game right. You want to get your game to peak performance, whatever your game is, whether that's business, whether that's creative work, whether that's athletics, you want to get these right. So really quickly, what I love for you to do is take a second, pause here, and on a scale of one to five, rate how well is your training slash movement practice? How well is your nutrition? How well is your sleep? How well do you focus? How good is your mindset? And how well are you in control of your breath? Do you do breath work? Are you in control of your breath throughout the day? And we are going to get into it. Again, what we're going to do here today is I'm going to give you just the stuff that you need so you can walk away from here and apply it directly to your life and get in better physical and mental condition than 99% of the population under three months. And if you want to go deeper on any of this stuff, we have a ton of content on all of that. Okay, training, movement. A couple Fundamentals within the fundamentals that I want to talk about here on the training movement piece. If you have a specific goal, whether that's bodybuilding or CrossFit or Spartan race or playing a sport like basketball or martial arts, your specific goal is going to be based on that, right? And the training is going to be accordingly. I can't go into all of that in this video. But for context, I just want to get you as shredded and lean and strong as possible. This is what I want you to do for training movement practice, okay? I want you to sprint. One day a week. I want you to lift weights, heavy weights, one day a week. I want you to walk at least 12,000 steps. And so we got five days here. Based on kind of your fitness level now, you can either have another sprinting day and another heavy lifting day, or you could go lighter doing something that's more fits you with your current fitness level. And then day five is going to be zone two cardio day, which is going to train your heart, strengthen your heart, and it's going to train your VO2 max. So the first fundamental that we want to get dialed in, your training and your movement. The training, how we're going to do this, again, in this context of this video, is just going to get you as shredded and lean and strong as possible. We do that through sprinting and lifting heavy weights, okay? Nutrition, fundamental number two, to get you physically and mentally in better condition than 99% of the population. I promise if you apply this, it's going to work. Okay. Eliminate and or minimize sugar, seed oils, and flour. 
So sugar, it's in almost everything, but you can replace it. You can replace it with honey. You can replace it with maple syrup. You can replace it with stevia. You can replace it with uh, aerotol. But the, these are all different things that you could do that still have sweet in them, which is still going to give you the opportunity to enjoy uh, sweet foods. But you got to eliminate sugar. Sugar is super toxic. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get you in the top 1%, okay, in under three months, which I promise you, you can do by applying this. Second one, seed oils are in everything. To be honest, if it was me, I don't, I'd stay away from sugar. I stay away from seed oils. I stay away from flour. But if it was me and I had to pick one, seed oils is what I would stay away most prevalently because uh, they're toxic on the brain. They really do a nasty inflammation to our cells. So uh, vegetable oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, cut that all out. And then you can, of course, you can replace it with olive oil, macadamia nut oil, coconut oil, but get rid of those seed oils and you are going to see a dramatic change in your body. It's going to help with your longevity, your lifespan. And then also what it's going to do is going to really help with your energy levels. And then flour, bleached flour is no good. Okay. So anytime you get something in a box in the store, just check what's in the box. If you see enriched flour, if you see bleached flour on there, stay away from flour. Okay. So fundamental number two, you're going to get your nutrition right. You're going to eliminate and or minimize sugar, seed oils, and flour. And then what I want you to do is I want you to add your lean mass in grams of protein every day. And that's a simple Google calculation to figure out what your lean mass is. And then grams of protein. What that's going to do is that's going to help with your muscles, get you strong. It's going to make sure that you're getting the right amino acid profile into your body. And what it's also going to do is going to help you stay satiated so you're not going to eat the BS. Okay? So super simple. I mean, we can go down down, down, how far down do we want to go in terms of the wormhole and in terms of nutrition. But all we're talking about here is just getting you in the top 1%, getting you in the top 1% in under three months. So minimize or eliminate sugar, minimize and or eliminate flour, minimize and or eliminate uh, uh, seed oils, which is vegetable oil, and then uh, eat your body mass, lean body mass in grams of protein every day. Day. If you have any questions on nutrition or anything like that, feel free to reach out. But again, without blood work, without gene testing, and without knowing lifestyle, you know, eating healthy is a relative term. But these things work for almost everybody, 99.999%. Okay. Fundamental number three. Hope you're following along with me. If you haven't yet subscribed to Chase Jackson Peak Performance, please do that. I'm going to transform you from a struggling entrepreneur into a high-performance business athlete. I do that with my simple three-step formula that I apply based on the world's best athlete training methods. Okay, you got to treat yourself like a decision-making athlete, like a high-performance business athlete. Number three is sleep. Uh, Harvard did a study where they looked at the five factors that correlate with longevity. And of course, longevity correlates with our daily performance now. And sleep quality is one of those five factors. So again, when it comes to quality of sleep, we can go down around the wormhole. But what I want to do here is I want to keep it simple. Okay, simple so you can apply it. I want to provide what we call profound knowledge. Profound knowledge is, okay, I just watched this video. I listened to what he said. Now I'm going to apply it. And in three, under three months, I'm going to be physically in better mental condition than 99% of the population. So this is what I want you to do with sleep. I want you to stop eating two to three hours before bed. You're either digesting or you're resting. If we're looking at numbers, uh, people that join our program, they get a free blood test, they get a free aura ring. And... One of the distinct things that impacts sleep quality the most is how uh, close you eat to bedtime. So that's one. Two, recommend that you take a warm shower before bed. This works for almost everybody. What taking a warm shower does is it lowers your body temperature because when you get out of there, the body is saying, okay, we got to lower our body temperature. We just got all this hot water dumped on us. Lower body temperature translates to better sleep quality. And number three, what I would love for you to do is I would like you to develop some kind of simple nighttime routine, like the last half hour to last 45 minutes of your day. This is what I do. Uh, so for me, what I do, I finish cleaning up. I journal how my day went, what my plan is for tomorrow. We have a daily peak performance attack plan for uh, you. If you're interested, I'll put that in the link below. That's something that I fill out for myself. And then I take my evening supplements. I take my warm shower. I'll read for a little bit. I'll go to bed. That's just for me. 
Whatever works for you, I highly recommend you experiment, find what works, but then do it consistently. Okay. So those three things, stop eating two to three hours before bed, then have some kind of nighttime routine, final half hour, final 45 minutes that you do consistently. Your body's going to, your subconscious, your spirit's going to get wired to be prepared for sleep. We do this enough. And the last one is take a warm shower. Okay. Halfway through these fundamentals. I promise if you prioritize these over the next three months, you're going to get in better physical and mental condition than 99% of the population. Uh, number four is focus. Okay. Why focus? Well, our brain takes up 20% of our energy. So if we are living in the world of digital distraction, it's eating up all our brain energy. If that's eating up all our brain energy, we're going to lose our willpower to be able to work out, to be able to follow these fundamental practices, to be able to eat right. Life is just much, much, much easier when you are working on being ruthless in terms of improving your focus. We have a video that we just did on that. I highly recommend you check that out. How entrepreneurs can eliminate brain fog and get their focus back. But what I'll just say here, what you could do is try to meditate. Okay. Meditation is building gray matter in the brain. And that gray matter is basically like muscles for the body. It's super, super, super powerful. Each time you meditate and you bring it back to your anchor, whether that's a mantra, whether that's a, a breath, it's like doing another rep. It's doing another rep in the weight room for your focus. So uh, we have a bunch of other stuff on focus. I highly recommend you check that video, video out. I'll put a link for that below. Number five, mindset. Mindset. You want to develop an elite mindset. You know, I've been really fortunate in my 15 years working in the athlete performance space to work with some of the best sports psychologists in the world. And mindset is just so powerful. You want to have the confidence, the belief that you can conquer any situation. You want to have the confidence. You want to have the belief that you can handle anything that life brings you because life is going to bring you pain. It is going to bring you challenges. It's going to bring you all that. It's going to bring the same thing for me. That's just part of the human existence. So the number one thing you can do to develop your mindset is just crush the little things. Okay. So what does that mean? That means when you do something well, celebrate that. It doesn't have to be like a big celebration, just but like celebrate in the head, say, that's like me. Do something well, that's like me. I just had Rich Devini on the Chasing Greatness radio show. Highly recommend you check that out. I'll put a link for that below on the show a couple of days ago. And he talked about the way to optimize mindset, especially in really challenging situations, is DPO, duration, pathway, outcome, okay? So if we want to improve our mindset, you know, if life feels like beating us up, we want to shorten the duration, shorten the horizon. We want to figure out what we need to do to conquer the pathway. And then we need to celebrate the outcome. So to give you a tangible example, again, this is to help you develop a leap mindset. I can say, all right, I got all this stuff I got to do for my coaching clients. I got another podcast episode. It's like, oh, uh, no, my focus is right now on this video. That's the duration. Pathway, how am I going to do that? I want to make sure before I'm here, I'm prepared. And then once I'm here, I'm fully engaged with you. There's nothing else going on. Outcome, once this is done, I'm, that's like me. And then I'm on to the next thing. Okay? So I just won that mindset round. Other thing you can do to develop your mindset is when life brings minor annoyances and challenges and problems to you, to respond in a way that it doesn't impact you. Okay. Because the way the brain is wired, if you look at neuroscience, how we respond to the little things is how we respond to the big things. So when life brings the big things that would normally really upset you, if you have gotten the reps in, you have trained yourself, then you are going to be less likely to be able to respond in a negative way that could lead to a downward spiral, that could lead to negative thinking, that could lead to uh, emotions like anger and and complaining and victimhood that actually have no, no benefit for you. And last fundamental, breath, okay? Most people breathe way too much. They breathe like 15 to seven, it's, it's insane. They breathe like 15 to 17 breaths per minute. We wanna slow that down, okay? Slow down your breath. Very common strategy used nowadays is something called box breathing. Five seconds in, five second hold, five second exhale, five second hold. I'll do that now.
and you do that three times, you just breathe three times in a minute. Okay. A couple other breathing tactics. We want to breathe through your nose as much as possible. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Way too many mouth breathers out there. Okay. And that's impacting your energy levels. It's impacting your longevity. It's impacting your physical and mental health. Okay. We're talking about getting you better than 99% of the population physically and mentally in under three months. You got to get your breath right. And then I highly recommend that you apply some kind of breath work practice, whether that's Wim Hof, whether that's something that activates your parasympathetic nervous system, your relaxation system. But there's a bunch of those. Um, you can message me. You can just Google online. I'd be happy to share with you. But prioritizing your breath. You know, we can go a certain amount of time without water. We can go a certain amount of time without food. We can go a certain amount of time without sleep. How long can we go without breath? So we really need to get that right. So these are the six fundamentals. You get these right, I promise you. You prioritize these, then you will get in better physical and mental condition than 99% of the population. This is actually step two in our simple three-step formula. We assess, we don't guess. So we provide you a complimentary blood test, complimentary aura ring. We get everything where you are now. That's step one. We help you come up with a plan, a performance plan. We help you dominate these fundamentals. And then step three in our formula is elite world-class coaching from our team of world-class coaches here that have helped countless Olympic medalists, NFL, NBA superstars, super high-level business people. And I'll put a link for that below. If you're interested, now go to the work. Let's get better today.